Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you are playing with strong waves and you are getting the error UE4 fatal error or the UE4 client game has crashed and will close or the low level fatal error then these are the fixes you need to try. The first thing you need to do is you need to disable overclocking. Make sure that you are not overclocking the CPU or the GPU. If you have if you have this software running in the background, the Tweak 3 or Afterburner or similar softwares or you have any RGB software running in the background, make sure that you close all of those and then try to launch the game and hopefully the game works. If the game still doesn't work, then repair the game files. To repair the game files, simply click on this icon and confirm to repair. Do note that at the time there is an there is a bug with verification of the game files where it doesn't show the progress I mean when you click to verify the progress will say 0.00 percentage but actually the verification is going on in the background and you don't need to do anything simply wait for 15 minutes to half an hour and the verification will be complete so the second fix is to verify the game files once you have done that then the next fix is to allow the game through the windows firewall or antivirus here is how you can do it press windows key plus i this will take you to the settings then go into privacy and security then windows security then from here firewall and network protection then click on allow an app through firewall over here click change settings then click on allow another app now browse browse where you have installed the game for me I have it on D so go to the game folder and over here you have the launcher click on the launcher and click on open then click on add that's it it's, this fix is done once this fix is done reboot your PC and try to play the game if the game still doesn't work then disable the control flow guard folder this is a malware protection folder so disable it and it may fix your game issue so again go into settings then privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection then under ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection now over here you have the option control folder access toggle it off and try to play the game hopefully this fix works if it doesn't then the next fix is to update the OS update everything all the updates that are available go into settings windows update then click over here to check for updates if any update pops up download it once you have downloaded and installed this then go into advanced options then over here you have optional updates check if there are any optional updates available if there are then download them as well then the next fix is to set correct resolution scale for this again go into settings go into system display then over here you have the scale option make sure that you, you have set it to 100 percent if you set it to 125 then uh, maybe a vsync issue co will cause this error so set it to 100 percent and try to play the game see if the game works if the game is still failing to launch then the next fix is to install your GPU drivers. While installing the GPU drivers, I suggest that you perform a clean install. I'll drop both the links for AMD and NVIDIA, so depending on your respective GPUs, you can download the latest drivers. For AMD, the options are quite clear. You just simply need to visit the link and download. click download Windows drivers and it will download the latest driver for you. For NVIDIA, you have the option to choose your GPU. So I am using a 30 series RTX 3670 Ti Windows 11 game ready drivers and let's search. It will give the latest driver that was released on 9-5-2024. So let's download the driver. Once the download is complete, then double click on the downloaded file to install it click yes okay
once the driver installation starts click on nvidia graphics driver and geforce experience click on agree and continue and instead of express installation choose custom installation then click next then over here you have the option perform a clean installation check over here perform a clean installation and click next now the installer will uninstall the existing gpu driver and install the new one wait for the process to complete once the old drivers have been removed the pc will reboot and once it reboots it will reinstall the new drivers once the drivers are reinstalled then try playing the game then the next fix is to install the microsoft visual c++ i'll drop a link in the video description for you to download go to the microsoft website and download both the x86 and the x64 versions and install them once they are installed try playing the game and see if it works if the game still doesn't work then and if you have two gpus maybe you're a laptop user most laptop most gaming laptops they come with two gpus uh, or if you have two gpus on your pc then make sure that the less powerful gpu is disabled and the game is using the more powerful nvidia or the amd gpu so for this place press windows key plus x and go into device manager once you go into device manager then under display adapters both the graphics card will be visible since i have only one it's showing only one for me if you have two then right click on the less powerful one and choose disable device once you have done that, try playing the game and see if the game works. Now the next fix is to disable full screen optimization. For this, open the game folder. Open the folder where you have installed the game. Then go to the launcher. Right click on the launcher. Go into properties. Then go into compatibility. Over here, you have the option disable full screen optimization make sure that you have disabled full screen optimization and click on run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok now attempt to launch the game and see if the game works if the game still doesn't work then run the game in clean boot environment we run the game in clean boot environment because if there are any third party programs that may be interfering with the game and causing issues so in a clean boot environment only the windows essentials are enabled and all third party softwares will be disabled so here is how you can launch the game in a clean boot environment press windows key plus r this will open the run dialog box in that type ms config and hit enter this will bring up the services then go to go into services then click on hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all now go into the startup tab and click on open device manager now make sure that you disable all the tasks over here go to each task one at a time and choose disable go to each task and choose disable once you've disabled all of these tasks reboot the pc and then launch the game and see if the game works hopefully all of these fixes have helped you if it did then please drop a like and comment and please subscribe to the channel thank you and have a good day